Hey guys, what's going on? Sarge here. Once again, coming at you with another large, large mail day. Um, this is probably actually going to be the last big mail day I have for a while of mixed stuff. Because I've honestly been picking up a shit ton of Miles Plumley. I think I have two or three lots of his autos coming in. And... There's like a couple mixed little old bangs and a couple more red set stuff, but that's really about it in terms of actual pickups. I'm going to lay off for a little while unless something I need for my set comes up because I've been spending like a fiend on his cards, so I got to I gotta peel back a little. So first, I got a little mail day, obviously, what I'm here for, and um... So here, a uh, little something unconventional for me. I'm going to start trying to get a little something going for this. Uh, Anaheim Ducks, they're my favorite uh, hockey team. They actually just advanced in the Stanley Cup playoffs. Thankfully, they didn't get bounced in the first round like last year. But they won 4-2. to So they are going to move on. And I think they are playing the Blackhawks. I could be wrong, but I believe they're playing the Chicago Blackhawks. So that's going to be an amazing series. Those two teams going hard at each other, same division and everything. So I got three cards here. Uh, Brandon McKelson at a 999 Future Watch from SP from uh, 0809. Here's a Jonas Hiller, their goalie, limited gold out of 25. And the man, Corey Perry, their right winger, who is amazing. Him and Getzlav lead an amazing offensive first unit. And then here is another large stack of uh, hoops, basketball, trade bait stuff that I got. Uh, nice Tobias Harris wood auto from the threads. This man who I think is going to be a beast in a couple years, Alec Burks. He is a monster. And then the proven veteran here, Steven Jackson out of... Uh, 199, and that Alec Burks is out of 199 as well. I didn't show that. So yeah, those two. Uh, Bismack Biombo, who got some playing time that Al Jefferson was hurt in Game Four, but I'm not quite sure how he did. I just know the Heat won. A uh, nice Iggy jersey production line on the Sixers, out of uh, 299. And then Antoine Jameson here on the Lakers. Out of 25, if it'll focus. Uh, it's all right. And then these next four I picked up for my PC, just my miscellaneous PC. Um, Alec Burks, just regular select auto, because I just wanted one of him in my thing, and that's out of 199, just like the jersey auto. i just rather have the regular auto. My second Derek Favors select stars auto jersey out of 299, because I'm really high on him. This is one card I think is really nice. I was originally going to trade it or something, but it just looks so beautiful. Rudy Gay, Upper Deck Significance. This is just a beautiful looking card in person. It's got such nice shine and Rudy's auto on it is so clean. So I don't really want to get rid of it. And a Tobias Harris Marquee auto. So those are for the for my own little personal collection here. I like to get some random players in my own little personal collection. So that way I uh, got a little variance when it comes to stuff. And two Bulls things, of course, of course. This just came in today. Glass Cleaners Jersey Auto of Joe Kim Noah from Limited. Out of 49. I'm really upset the Bulls got bounced last night. But I'm going to be honest and blame the defensive bigs in uh, Noah, Boozer, and Gibson. Because I have to put Boozer in there because Gibson got hurt. Rolled his ankle in the fourth. But they could not. And I give him a lot a lot of credit to Marcin Gortat. They couldn't box him out. And he had, on one possession, he had three offensive smacks. Where he just smacked it back out to the perimeter. Three of them in a row that led to extra possessions for them. And even on the foul shots when the Bulls started fouling. And they still had a chance to come back. They were within... Um, I want to say three or four at the point, and John Wall had hit one. He bricked his second one, but again, Marcin Gortat came in and smacked it back for another offensive rebound. So again, all the credit in the world to the Wizards. Um, 
if I was gonna if I wanted the team to lose to anyone, I'm glad it is the uh, the Wizards. Here you're looking at the Defensive Player of the Year, Joe Kim Noah. So that's pretty nice. But I mean, I give all the credit in the world to the Wizards. John Wall turned into a superstar. Bradley Beal is on fire. Uh, Nene and Gortat are a serious threat down low, and everyone was sleeping on them this whole season. I never slept on them once. I'd rather have played Brooklyn because they matched up with the Bulls better than Wall and them because Wall and them could outplay the Bulls. And, I mean, we lost. I give all the credit in the world to Washington. K kudos to them. They deserve it. And I hope they actually go on and do well because they're probably the team I would want out of the East now. And the team I want out of the West is uh, Portland, the Blazers. I've always been a fan of Aldridge, even though the Bulls drafted him and had to trade him when they got Tyrus Thomas. But that's a whole other story I'll talk about when the NBA draft comes around. So, Noah, my feelings on the Bulls last night. One more look at this. My feelings on the Bulls last night, they just got outplayed on the boards, and I can't have that happen. And here is my last little... Uh, birthday thing for my father birthday easter type gift because i only see him every other week so he, when he gets cards in for me he brings them at that time and this card is fucking beautiful when he gave it to me i almost shit my bricks and there's one more card coming he told me it's a chicago bulls booklet from preferred so that's nice but this card is so nice i'll show you right now the player isn't nice marcus teague they traded him so, I mean, that's no big deal, but the card itself is fucking nasty. Immaculate letter patch auto out of 75. I know it's from this bottom corner of the B right here. You can pretty much tell that that is coming off of there, or it's coming off like the corner of the L or the U, but it's the B pretty much because there's all red around it. So, I'm thinking more or less it's the corner of the B. Like that bottom corner or something. But still, that's nasty. Out of 75, rookie card patch auto out of Immaculate of Marcus Teague. I actually have this except the Miles Plumley version coming. That's one of the Miles Plumley lots I have coming in. That coming in with something else. So that's really sick. So yeah, guys. That is my mail day. Um, and my thoughts about Chicago. That they just did not play well on offense. So now I get to root for the Ducks, baby. Woo! Hype for hockey. I finally get to get into it a little bit, so I'm really excited for this. Oh, wait, I gotta put this right here. That spot's empty for that bad boy, that butte. Look at that. Mwah. Anyway, guys, that's my mail day. I'll catch you all in the next one. Hope everyone's doing well. Peace out.